Musicians from remote villages of district Malda, West Bengal played dhak, a rhythmic avanadvadya percussive instrument for the festival Durga Puja. They can be seen in every Durga Puja pandal in India. The sound of dhak is symbolic of the beginning of Durga Puja. Dhak is a traditional folk instrument played in the eastern part of India, especially in the states of West Bengal, Assam and Odisha. The dhakis play the instrument and dance with the rhythm they play. The dancing steps matched with the rhythm they play is unique. They decorate the instrument with feathers, colored cloths, etc. And this aesthetics is a beautiful visual. The dhakis love to play the dhak. They have been playing it since the age of 7 to 8. Generally we see that the size of the dhaks are big. But these musicians inform small dhaks are also made by their family members. So at that tender age they played small dhaks. We learned to play the dhak from our grandfather, father. Since we belong to a family of dhak players, we learn this art form from our family members. This is typically a Guru Shishya Parampara prevailing in our country since ages. They belong to a community known as Dhakis, who earn their livelihood by playing on the instrument.
the clothes we usually wear are dhoti, banyan and gamcha tied to the waist. When we go to play for bigger and formal functions, we wear a kurta, usually provided by the organizers. Dhak is made from the wood of neem, sheesh, mango. A machine is used to cut the block of wood to a cylindrical shape which appears like a barrel as one can see. The two face of the drums have to be of same size and leveled. On this face, the skin of a goat is tied. The skin is dried, parched and cut to size which is a little bigger than the face of the drum as one has to tightly tie it. Around the rim of the face, a bamboo strip is cut and soaked in water for around 5 days to season it. Then it is tightly roped to the skin on the two faces of the dhak. Holes have to be made on the bamboo and the skin has to be inserted through them for sustaining it. On one side of the dhak, you will see a black circle. This is the non-playing side which has the black patch called the garb or syahi made of combination of iron ore and some manganese oxide. Torn sacks of rice are also used which are soaked in water for making a paste. Oil is mixed with this paste and the skin is smeared with the paste which helps in the reverberation of the drum. Our whole community who live in the area of a village is known as Dhakir Pada. They play the instrument and also make the instrument. We play for all religious functions like Ganesh Puja, Lakshmi Puja, Mansa Puja, Vishwakarma Puja, Saraswati Puja, etc. throughout the year. But during Durga Puja, we come out of our village to big cities where we dance, entertain and play dhak. We get some money and also enjoy seeing new places. We work in factories to make a living as the money we earn is not enough for our survival. In our community, women usually do not play this instrument. But nowadays many women are learning the techniques and they are playing the instrument. The instrument is worshipped as God or deity. And so on one side of the instrument you will see red vermilion sindur is applied as we consider the instrument as Ma Saraswati, that is why we worship it. The sticks we use to play the drum are made of cane. The drums have to be kept properly for longer sustenance. Of course, the skin is sometimes changed for better sound reproduction. The sound of this drum is integrated with so many concepts of physics. Frequency, vibration, pitch, reverberation, etc. And in musical parlance, it is known as Nad, Shruti, Swar, Tal, Lay, etc. 
We find various types of lay rhythmic patterns, but the thekas tal is usually of 8 matras, 16 matras and 6 matras or units. The playing technique has great variety. To maintain the rhythm, a kashur ghanta brass plate often accompanies the dhak which is also known as jalara, brass symbol.